Okay, Sagittarius, welcome to your January 2021 Psychic Tarot reading. Uh, my name is Piper. Welcome to Prophecy. So thank you for being here. Um, please uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you are a return or repeat offender, thank you. So... All right, you guys, so in this reading here for YouTube, I'm going to channel a message for you from Spirit. I'm going to lay down um, a five-card mini cross for the month, okay? Um, those The positions for the five-card mini cross are going to be energy of the month, your challenge for the month, your opportunities for the month or chances, uh, a card for what you represent for the month, and then a card for an outcome, okay? So... Um, I am going to extend this reading. So if you want to get clarifiers and a little more specific, um, those things will be included in the extended read along with some oracle cards for how to um, overcome your challenge. One oracle card for relationships, one oracle card for money, one for career, and then one from spirit for purposeful meaning for the month, the card that gets you through it all, okay? So a jam-packed extended. If you would like to take advantage of that when you are done watching this video, scroll down into the description box and click on the link below. It will take you to Vimeo, which is a 20-minute or so Vimeo, um, video for $9.99, okay? So... All right, you guys, here we go. What does spirit have to say for you in January? A gleeful shout of joy escapes your lips when you hear the news. It gives you a jump in your belly or a flip, so to speak. It almost startles you because you have been pretty upset about something. Regarding the new year. But apparently it's been discussed and there was a change of heart and you have been remedied of that issue. And you're in fact so uplifted that you begin to plan things around the outcome of whatever this is. It has given you a more positive outlook and a flood of relief that you will be able to accomplish some important things for yourself. An outpouring of sympathy reached your ears and you were recognized and it touched your heart. And that has helped the situation tremendously. The month of January becomes much easier for you and your lighthearted attitude has you on a pathway to a higher mind and a higher vibration. Wow, you guys. So <laughs> you guys got something good going on. You're going to have some good news. You're going to, you're going to, um, 
it's a turnaround for you guys, actually. Um, the energy for, for January, wow, yeah, wow. Okay, for some of you, it is about, bang. For some of you, it is about a relationship. We've got the energy is months is information, communication, big ideas or aha moments or epiphanies. And then it just happens to be about a relationship. Now, it could be a love relationship, but it could be any relationship. And it could be um, somebody made a very important decision regarding your situation, right? So the challenge, wow, your cards are flying for the month of January, is not being able to walk away from things that are clearly over. Eight of cups in the reverse. You can't do it. <laughs> or the challenge is having to stay in that sag, in that um, in the stagnation of it, right? And so clearly something is over. Um, or not for you any longer. And I feel like you're probably keeping a stiff upper lip regarding something. Opportunities and chances for the month of January. Okay. So, releasing some fears, that is a great situation. So the moon in reverse has you looking ahead with a much better attitude. Um, or, you you know, if you get the chance to raise your vibration or, or release some fear, that has a much more positive aspect on your month with the moon in reverse. And they're saying to me, Spirit is saying to me, it's about, it's about having the opportunity to do things that make you feel better, not worse. <laughs> that, that make you feel more sure of yourself, that release fear. Sag, you in particular, you yourself, you've got the sun. Now it is in reverse. So we did, your channeled message said that something was going to go your way. And so it's, there may be some, um, and when the sun's in reverse, so the sun is a very powerful card no matter what, okay? It's joy. It's youthful energy. It's like whenever I, it's like warmth, growth, um, ecstatic behavior, right? So when it's in the reverse, it's like, the power of the card still exists, but you may not be able to take advantage of every aspect of the sun. So this is what, this is where the moon comes in over here. You've got, you've got the sun, but you also have the opportunity to let go of the moon, right? And so your sun isn't perfect yet. <laughs> your sun is um, a little bit hindered by the challenge of the month, right? And I feel like this is all about, like, I'm happy, but clearly things need to change. Maybe that's what they're saying here. So on to the outcome, you guys. Wow. Son of Wands. Energy. Passion. Passionate messages, um, an offer coming in hot. The Son of Wands. This could be a, you could be dealing with a fire sign or this could be you. Someone may be in a rush or someone may want to move very quickly. Okay. Or this could be you wanting to move very quickly on a certain situation. Um, 
for some of you, this could be about um, work. I'm just going to say that, even though we have the lovers in the energy of the month. Um, but I do feel like some of you have, if it's not, it's 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 about either love or work. I'm going to say that. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out in the uh, in the extended, I think. Um, or it could be different for each one of you. But the, the Son of Wands, and I heard it very directly in my head, they just said the Son of Wands has an excellent set of references and should not waste time hanging about. <laughs> so someone's going to make a move. Someone's going to either you're going to start moving or someone else is going to start moving. Okay? Wow. All right. So, guys, please join me for the extended, okay? We're going to break these cards down. Again, we're going to clarify. We're going to get uh, how are you going to overcome this challenge and um, an oracle card for re your relationships, for money, for career, and a card from spirit for how to get yourself through it all, okay? All right. Join me then. Thank you. Scroll down. Click on the link, okay? Bye.